Picture this. A ship embarks on a voyage across vast, uncharted waters carrying precious cargo. It's a story that has been told countless times throughout human history. But what happens when these journeys go awry, when the unexpected storm hits or the navigator loses his way? In today's exploration, we're diving deep into the mysteries of the ocean as we uncover the tales of five ancient shipwrecks. From lost treasures to ghostly apparitions and archaeological wonders, these sunken vessels hold secrets of the past that continue to fascinate us. Let's set sail on this maritime adventure. In the deep waters off the southern coast of Turkey lies the Uluburan shipwreck, a time capsule from the late Bronze Age that has been resting on the seafloor for over 3,300 years. Discovered in the early 1980s by a local sponge diver, the ship has been dated back to the 14th century BC, making it one of the oldest known shipwrecks. The ship was laden with a cargo that has provided an invaluable snapshot into the international trade of the era. Divers recovered over 10 tons of raw copper, tin ingots, the components of bronze, and a golden seal bearing the name of Egyptian Queen Nefertiti, providing hard evidence of a direct trade link between the Mycenaeans in Greece and the New Kingdom of Egypt. In addition, archaeologists found ivory hailing from both Africa and the Syrian elephant, amber from the Baltic, and a unique collection of glass beads traced back to Egypt and Mesopotamia. This suggests that the ship had traversed the length and breadth of the eastern Mediterranean before it sank. Also among the cargo were luxury items like ebony ostrich eggshells, a scarab gem and a trumpet, indicating the high status of the intended recipients. Perhaps one of the most intriguing items found was a collection of the earliest known written tablets, hinting at a literate crew or owner. Picture this, a crisp autumn night, a glowing three-mast schooner sailing silently through the foggy waters of the Northumberland Strait. Between Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick in Canada, this isn't just any schooner, but a spectral vessel that has become the stuff of legend, the burning ghost ship of the Northumberland Strait. Numerous accounts dating back to the 18th century tell of a ship appearing ablaze on the water, its ghostly crew scrambling to douse the flames. Despite the apparent inferno, the ship never seems to burn down, and it always disappears without a trace. Some theories suggest the ghost ship is a mirage, an optical phenomenon caused by temperature inversions. Others, however, believe it to be the spectral remnant of a real ship that met a fiery end. One popular theory is that the apparition is the spectre of a French ship that was set ablaze during the expulsion of the Acadians, a tragic event that took place in the mid-18th century. However, no concrete historical event or shipwreck has been definitively linked to the ghost ship sightings. While the ghost ship of the Northumberland Strait may not have yielded physical treasure, it is undoubtedly a cultural and historical treasure. It has captivated generations, inspired folk songs and continues to be a draw for ghost hunters and maritime history enthusiasts alike. The mystery of its origin and the ethereal nature of its existence make it a fascinating chapter in the annals of seafaring lore. Now, let's venture into the azure waters of the Mediterranean, to the island of Antikythera, between mainland Greece and Crete. This is the site of one of the most remarkable shipwrecks ever discovered, the Antikythera shipwreck. First discovered in 1900 by sponge divers, the ship is believed to have been a massive Greek cargo ship that sank sometime between 60 and 70 BCE. Laden with luxury goods, including marble and bronze statues, jewelry, furniture and glassware, it was a veritable floating treasure trove. But the real treasure, the one that would rewrite our understanding of ancient technology, was a peculiar artifact known as the Antikythera mechanism. This intricate device made of interlocking gears and dials is often described as the world's first analog computer. It was used to predict celestial events, including eclipses, as well as the positions of the planets. The complexity and precision of the Antikythera mechanism wouldn't be seen again for over a thousand years, challenging our conceptions of technological progress. The Antikythera shipwreck remains an active archaeological site, with new discoveries made as recently as 2017. This ancient sunken ship offers a tangible connection to the past and provides us with priceless insights into the sophistication of ancient Greek technology and culture. The Antikythera mechanism itself is a testament to the ingenuity of the human mind, a treasure far more valuable than gold. 
We now turn our attention to the high seas of the Atlantic and a ship that played an integral part in one of history's most significant voyages, the Santa Maria, the flagship of Christopher Columbus on his first journey to the New World. Built in the late 15th century, the Santa Maria was a modest-sized NAU or ship, common during the Age of Discovery. On Christmas Eve of 1492, just months after Columbus and his crew sighted land in the New World, the Santa Maria ran aground off the coast of present-day Haiti. The ship was too damaged to be repaired and was left to the mercy of the sea. However, the shipwreck was not the end of the Santa Maria story. Using salvaged materials from the ship, Columbus ordered the construction of a fort, La Navidad, the first European settlement in the Americas. In a way, the Santa Maria lived on, becoming part of the very world it helped discover. Despite many attempts, the wreck of the Santa Maria has never been definitively located. Some believe it was dismantled by looters, while others argue that it may still lie undiscovered on the ocean floor. The search for the Santa Maria continues. Its elusive remains a tantalizing target for treasure hunters and historians alike. A symbol of a turning point in world history, the Santa Maria and its potential discovery are treasures that would rewrite the history books. High in the Andes Mountains of South America, at an elevation of over 12,500 feet, 3,800 meters, lies Lake Titicaca, a massive body of water that straddles the border between Bolivia and Peru. This mystical lake, steeped in legends and folklore, has been the focus of numerous archaeological expeditions that have led to the discovery of fascinating underwater treasures. In recent years, researchers have been drawn to the lake due to reports of submerged ships and artifacts. Archaeologists and divers have been exploring the depths of Lake Titicaca, uncovering a series of shipwrecks and ancient relics dating back to pre-Columbian times. The most intriguing finds include a submerged temple, terraced fields, and a long-lost road, which allude to the advanced engineering and agricultural techniques of the ancient inhabitants of the region. The Titicaca shipwrecks themselves have also provided valuable information about the maritime technology of the time. The remains of reed boats and other watercraft suggest that the people of the area were skilled navigators who used the lake for trade, communication, and cultural exchange. Some of these shipwrecks may even hold treasures, ritual offerings, or valuable goods that were lost during their journeys across the lake. The exploration of the Titicaca shipwrecks is ongoing, and each new discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of the ancient civilizations that once thrived around this enigmatic lake. As archaeologists continue to unveil the secrets of Lake Titicaca, we gain a deeper understanding of the people who once navigated its waters and the treasures that may still lie hidden beneath the surface. The Vasa is one of the most famous shipwrecks in the world, not because of the treasures it held, but due to the invaluable insights it provides into the naval architecture and maritime warfare of the 17th century. This Swedish warship was intended to be a symbol of Sweden's naval prowess, but instead became a symbol of failure and humiliation. The Vasa set sail on her maiden voyage on August 10, 1628 in Stockholm, but disaster struck immediately. Within a mile of her departure, a gust of wind caused the top heavy ship to tilt, water entered through the open gun ports, and the Vasa sank in front of a horrified crowd of onlookers. The ship rested in the cold, brackish waters of Stockholm's harbour for over 330 years, its location known but its retrieval seen as impossible. However, in 1961, the Vasa was finally salvaged in an operation that sparked worldwide interest. The cold, low salinity conditions of the Baltic Sea had preserved the Vasa exceptionally well, with even the intricate wooden carvings and painted surfaces remaining largely intact. Today, the Vasa is housed in a specially built museum in Stockholm, where it provides an unparalleled glimpse into the past. While the Vasa didn't carry gold or jewels, it held a different kind of treasure knowledge. The ship and its contents, including thousands of artifacts and even the remains of the crew and their personal possessions, provide a time capsule of life in the early 17th century. Each object, from the cannons and rigging to the clothing and utensils, contributes to our understanding of the era's naval warfare, social conditions, and everyday life. The story of the Vasa reminds us that sometimes the real treasure is not gold or gems, but the stories and lessons we glean from history. We've journeyed through time and across the globe, diving into the depths of history and the ocean to discover the captivating stories behind these shipwrecks. Each ship, each voyage, 
tells a unique tale of human ambition, innovation and often unexpected disaster. But in their underwater tombs, they've preserved snapshots of our past, treasures that surpass material wealth. They remind us that the real treasure isn't always gold or gems, but the stories and lessons we glean from history. So the next time you gaze across the ocean, remember the tales it holds beneath its waves. Until next time, keep exploring. And as always, thanks for watching.